Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. We have had a very great month already of being thankful. Hopefully we're thankful all year, not just around Thanksgiving. And we're also entering into the nativity uh, season. We entered in November 15th. So the first song we're gonna sing is the song called Be Thankful, which we've sung together before. But it's always good to be thankful. A grateful heart is full of love. So sing with me, be thankful. Be thankful, it's gratitude, be thankful, change your attitude, be thankful, all you girls and dudes, be thankful to the Lord. Don't be like the whiny workers in Matthew chapter 20, the ones who worked all day. is a really important thing. Um, we shouldn't always be looking at what we want all the time. I know Christmas is coming and we always are making our list. What do we want for Christmas? What do we want? And we need to shift our focus into what can we give? How can we be better during Christmas? Here's an idea that I heard of recently. If you have a Christmas tree, as you can see, my Christmas tree is behind me and we put all kinds of of ornaments and sometimes even icons on our tree, pictures of our kids and maybe some things that you made in school. I'm sure your Christmas tree is filled with beautiful things. But a fun idea is to grab another tree in your house. It could be a small tree like this or a bigger tree. And it can be your good deeds tree where you know you don't decorate the tree, only you only decorate it when you've done something good for someone else. Um, so you do a kind act. You you decided, you know what, we're going to save money. And instead of going out to eat after church, we're going to go home and eat leftovers and use some of that money to maybe buy some canned goods for those who are hungry. And then you can offer that to somebody who's hungry. And that's a good deed. A good deed is helping someone without being asked to help. Sharing with your brother or your sister Obeying should be something we always do, but maybe you went above and beyond and did something special and kind. And then every time you do, you can put an ornament on the tree. And by, by Christmas, hopefully, our good deeds tree will be filled with, with beautiful things. Um, you know, we do good things because we're good. We're made in the image of God. We don't do it for rewards. But um, we should always think about others, especially during this time where we're always being asked, what do we want? And speaking of, we're going to take a look of this icon, uh, of the icon of the nativity. I want you to take a good look at it. This is a <clears throat> special ornament that was made at St. Badaskavi Monastery. And it's lit up beautifully. What do you notice? I mean, there's a lot to see in this icon, but I want you to take a look up close. Look at Jesus. Jesus is at the center, right? Okay, Christmas is about Jesus being born. What do you notice about Jesus? Look at him. What's he look like? Did you say mummy? He looks like a mummy. Yeah, he's wrapped tightly like a mummy. Why would the church do that? Why would iconography show Jesus wrapped like a mummy? Because a mummy is a dead person, right? And he's, he's being born. What do you think the church is trying to teach us? That Jesus was born to die. That's why he was born. He was born to die and to save us from our sin. When we read the creed, we say, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty. And when we get to, and the Virgin Mary and was made man, when we get to his birth, what do we say right after that? 
And he was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. We go straight from his birth to his crucifixion because everything that happened in between is extra. All the miracles, all the teachings, everything he did, that was extra. Jesus was born to die. And uh, we must remember that this holy season, that Christmas is not about what we're going to get. It's about the gift of Jesus, God coming down, becoming man, so that we can have life everlasting. So when we say Christ is born, when we get to that great day, when we celebrate the feast, we say glorify him, glorify him. That's our response. Like at Christmas or Easter, we say Christ is risen indeed, or truly he is risen. At, at, at uh, the winter Pascha, we call this the winter Pascha, at Christmas, we say Christ is born, glorify him. He is the joy of Bethlehem. And that's the name of this song, Bethlehem's Joy. Let's sing along. There is joy in Bethlehem. Christ the Lord to us is born. Angels singing, shepherds kneeling, wise men following a star. For Christ is born. For Christ is born. Glorify Him, glorify Him, glorify. celebrate the feast. So think about it. If you're not fasting or giving up something for this time, start thinking about maybe toning down on, on the things we ask for and start thinking about what can I do for others so we can add to that tree that reminds us of the tree of the cross of Christ who died for our salvation. God bless you. We'll see you next time.